Hey, what's going on? It's Mike here with another episode of Smart Simple Digital. Now, in today's video, I'm gonna give you a simple breakdown of Zoom, including everything that you need to know to get started with it and also how to join your first meeting. So Zoom is something that has just exploded in popularity recently. You know, it's become one of the new standards for how many of us now communicate with our loved ones and coworkers. And it's also been the subject of a lot of questions that have come my way over these past several weeks. And that's one of the main reasons, one of the main things I should say that just finally pushed me to do this video. All it takes is a little push. <laughs> now, if you're already familiar with Zoom, then some of today's content may be pretty basic to you, but if you or someone that you know is absolutely puzzled by Zoom. I don't get it. You know, maybe you're hearing about it all in the news and pop culture right now, but you don't know what it is. I, I still don't get it. Or, you know, perhaps you, you've been invited to join a Zoom meeting, but you don't know where to begin, what to do. What? Then this episode is for you. Now, just one quick reminder before I get started. If you haven't done it already, consider subscribing to my channel. You know, especially if you are a returning viewer or if you're just someone who digs the content that I put out. Go ahead, click the subscribe button below, and every time that I put out a new video, you'll be notified. So first off, what is Zoom? It's a communications tool that's used to host video conferences and other virtual meetings over the web. You can use it to host everything from one-on-one -on -one meetings to group presentations and even large conferences with hundreds or even thousands of people. A few things that are great about Zoom. Number one, it gives you the ability to host or join a meeting from anywhere regardless of your physical location. You know, as long as you have a computer, smartphone, or tablet, and it has an active internet connection, and it also has a Zoom app installed, you can be a part of any discussion that you need to be in. Number two, when you're participating in a Zoom meeting, you have the ability to virtually interact with other guests through video and audio. So you can literally see other people who are in attendance, who are attending that meeting, uh, or those who are presenting, uh, as long as they have an active webcam. And you can also hear and talk to other meeting participants as well using your phone or the microphone on your computer. Things that are really key in helping to recreate the feel that you might get from an in-person or face-to-face you know, -face discussion. And number three, Zoom is free to use if you're just planning to join meetings or if you're planning to host small meetings of your own, those with less than 100 guests. Aside from that, if you need to host large-scale meetings with hundreds or even thousands of guests, or if you need access to special features for hosting virtual classrooms, or you know, if you're a medical professional, you wanna host your appointments virtually, then you'll need to upgrade to one of their premium plans. However, for the rest of this discussion, I'm just gonna focus on the basics, how to join a meeting and what to expect if you're using Zoom for the first time. So now that you have a general idea about what Zoom is, let's talk about getting started with it. So there are two things that you'll need in order to get started with Zoom. First, you need to have the Zoom app installed on your computer, smartphone, or tablet. Really, whichever device you plan to use to join or host a meeting. So if you plan to use your smartphone, you should download the Zoom Meetings app to that device. For iPhone and iPad users, you can find the app in the App Store. And for Android users, you can find the app in the Google Play Store. Now you may notice several other apps available from Zoom in those stores, but you wanna get the one labeled Zoom Cloud Meetings. Now if you plan to use your computer to join or host meetings, I highly recommend that you download the Zoom Meetings app to it. It's available for Windows and Mac computers and can be found on the Zoom website. Now one quick note about that, it is possible in some instances to join a meeting from within your browser without having to download the Zoom app at all. However, that can be a little tricky and confusing, quite frankly, if you're a first time user. So to avoid any frustration, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you just download the Zoom app to your computer. Just follow the instructions that I just mentioned. Now, the second thing that you'll need in order to get started with Zoom is a user account. However, this is really only necessary if you plan to host meetings of your own or if you'll be joining restricted meetings, which may be the case for some virtual classrooms or other private events where the host may require guests 
to sign in. It's free to create an account and you can do it by visiting the Zoom website. Once you're there, click the sign up button and then follow all of the on-screen instructions. But again, if you just need to join a meeting that someone has invited you to, then creating a user account really isn't necessary. So how do you join a Zoom meeting? It's actually pretty simple and it's something that you can do from your computer or your mobile device, such as a smartphone or tablet. You just wanna make sure that you have the Zoom app installed on the device that you're planning to use, which I mentioned earlier, and you also need to have the meeting invitation link or the meeting ID and password that you should have received from the person hosting the meeting. Now, once you have those things covered, you're halfway there. First, let's talk about joining a meeting from your mobile device, your smartphone or your tablet. The first thing that you wanna do is to go to the meeting invitation that you received through email or text and then click on the link that was included. Now this should trigger the Zoom app to open and then next you may see a series of prompts or messages appear on your screen. First, you might be asked to select your audio setting. Uh, there might be an option that says to hear others call using internet audio or a second option that says cancel. Now this first option will turn on your microphone so that you can speak and be heard once you're inside the meeting. And the second option, cancel, will mute your microphone. Select the option that you're most comfortable with. And remember, you can change the setting if you need to once you're inside the meeting. The last thing, there's sometimes when you may be prompted to enter a meeting ID or password. If that happens, just refer back to the meeting info that was provided to you by the host and those things should be included in the invite and just go ahead and enter them. Now, after you've done all that, you should be set and instantly join to your meeting. Next, let's talk about joining a Zoom meeting from your computer. This is also pretty simple. Again, the first thing that you wanna do is to locate the meeting invitation that you received through email or text and just click on the link that was included. Now, this should trigger your web browser to open up and then you'll be directed to the Zoom website. And once you're there, you should see a pop-up message asking if you wanna open the Zoom app. If you do, just go ahead and click on open or allow and this will trigger the Zoom app to open on your computer. Next, you'll see a series of prompts or pop-up messages appear on your screen. First, you may be asked to select your preferred audio setting, join with computer audio, or test speaker and microphone. Now this first option will turn on your microphone so that you can speak and be heard once you're inside of a meeting. Uh, the second option will just guide you through a series of questions to make sure that your microphone and your speakers are properly tuned. After that, you may be prompted to enter the meeting ID or password. If so, just refer back to the meeting info that was provided to you by the host. And again, once you enter all that information, you are all set and you should instantly be joined into your meeting. So once you're inside of a Zoom meeting, there are a couple settings that you'll wanna locate and also adjust according to how you wanna interact with other meeting guests. Now first is the audio setting. This is represented by the microphone icon in the menu bar. Now this setting turns the microphone on your device on and off, which in turn controls whether or not your voice is heard by other guests in the meeting. You can tap it to change the setting. When a line appears through the microphone icon, you're muted and can't be heard. And when there isn't a line running through the icon, your microphone is on and everything from your end can be heard by other guests, so be careful. Just a quick note here, it's a good practice to keep yourself on mute whenever you're not talking in a meeting. Um, the microphones in our devices are way more sensitive than we realize sometimes, and you don't want to be that person with all the background noise just completely thrown off. You hear that? Don't be that. The second option that you want to be aware of when you're inside a meeting is the video setting. Now this is represented by the camera icon in the menu bar. This setting turns the webcam on your device on and off, which in turn controls whether or not you are visible to other guests in the meeting. Again, just tap it to change the setting. When a line appears through the camera icon, your webcam is turned off and you can't be seen. And when there isn't a line running through the icon, your webcam is on and you are visible to all other guests. Now, once you're ready to leave a meeting, you just wanna click on the leave a meeting button in the menu bar and then press leave a meeting to confirm your choice. And then once you do that, you'll be taken back to the Zoom app home screen and you're done. Now in some situations, you know, the host may end the meeting. And in that case, you won't have to click the leave button. All guests will be automatically disconnected from the meeting at that point and you'll be taken back to the app home screen.
All right, so with all that said, I, I think you're ready. And if you want to take Zoom for a test drive and practice all the things that I shared in this episode, just visit the Zoom test site at the address right here, right below. Uh, you want to enter that address in a web browser on your computer or your, or your mobile device. Uh, and once you do that, this is going to open up the Zoom app and it's going to place you inside of a test meeting all by yourself where you can play around with all the things, all the settings. So I definitely recommend that you give this a try. So that's it. That's everything that you need to know in order to get started with Zoom and to join your first meeting. I hope it was helpful. If it was, please like this video and also share it with someone else who can benefit from it. Like right now, just copy the link and send it out. Send it out to somebody who could use this information right now. Uh, also, if you haven't done so already, hey, consider subscribing to my channel. And what happens is every time that I put out new videos, you'll be notified. And of course, if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comments. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Take care.